the Civil War Collectible Channel. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. And what I have in front of you here that we're going to talk about is these two particular swords. And I'm going to show you the difference between a foot officer sword, U.S., and a staff and field, U.S., of the model 1850. This is one of the most common questions that people email me and they want to know how to tell if it's a line officer sword or if it's a staff and field officer sword. So it's very simple. And that's what we're going to do this video for. Is this a simple thing and it educates you real quick. It's all in the handguard. If you look at, and of course the cameraman will get up here and get a close up, the standard 1850 foot officer sword. This has the basket with the laurel leaves and the vines in the guard. That is a standard 1850 foot officer that would have been used by a lieutenant and up to a captain and then normally when you got into the higher grades the major on up to general you would have got the 1850 staff and field sword and these are regulation styles so on the staff and field you'll see the slightly bigger basket folded back with the U.S. in it and again that would have been carried by a major on up or colonel you know there's some lines you see them in different CDVs and tin types but there's a borderline there but these are the two differences so again one more time 1850 foot officer sword smaller guard laurel leaves and vines 1850 staff and field larger basket normally the US these are the regulation styles because there's many non-regulation styles but the staff and field will normally have the US so it's very simple it's a small rule of thumb that you can follow but it tells you the difference between the two types of swords so from the old Civil War guru have a great day.